Hi there, my name is Fabian and I am from the National Museum of Singapore. So today you'll get a chance to meet Madam Lim Lee Hoi, also known as Mrs. Yoon and her daughter Kara. So this mother-daughter duo, they actually started a company called Yoon's Traditional Teochew Kueh in 2016 to preserve Teochew delights. In this special program presented by the National Museum of Singapore in celebration of the Singapore Heritage Festival, we'll hear from Mrs. Yoon and Kara on why they wanted to set up this business. And they will also be teaching us how to make their famous Tiam To Kue, a traditional sweet kue. As they present their tantalizing treats, you also get a chance to receive a kue set, comprising five pieces of Tiam To, one traditional kue mo and a recipe sheet in our special giveaway. At the National Museum, we also have a few kue moles in our collection. These moles were used to make anggu kue, an oval steamed sticky cake with fillings such as peanut, mung bean, or red bean paste. Anggu kue is a traditional Chinese snack from Fujian, China. The name anggu kue is Hokkien and means red turtle cake in English. In Chinese culture, red is favoured as it represents luck and happiness and the tortoise symbolizes longevity. Today, ang ku kue is a popular snack and it comes in many colors with various types of fillings. Now, let us turn the spotlight to Mrs. Yu and Kara, who will share a bit more about this unique Teochew Diam Do Kue. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Kara and this is my mom. Mrs. Yoon, uh, which I nicknamed her Chef Mom on, on Facebook, on social media. Yeah, so uh, thank you for having us. Uh, we are very, very privileged to be part of this uh, Singapore Heritage Festival. So especially for this program, uh, we would actually uh, conduct a very teo traditional Teochew Kueh, which is called the Teochew Tiam Tao Kueh, yeah, Tian Tao Guo. Uh, and it's traditionally wrapped with uh, Tosha, mung beans. Yeah, so later on, we will share with everyone how to make uh, Teochew Tiam Tao. Mm. Okay, we, we wanted to uh, preserve the art of making authentic Teochew kueh. Yeah, so uh, basically back in December 2016, uh, we started the Facebook page. Yeah, that was when NEA actually um, sort of changed the home base rules. We can actually sell online. So I shared with mom that, hey, me, um, you know, now we can sell online. Uh, then she, I still remember her, her reaction is like, you can sell online, man. I said, yeah, you can sell online everything, you know. Yeah, so that's that's how we started, and the response was very good. Yeah, so we were doing that delivering quiz uh, since 2016, and then in 2019, around January uh, period, uh, we were invited by Nian Kongsi alumni. Uh, and mom, I can see she's so serious, right? But actually, she's very happy, super aesthetic when she heard that uh, the very Teochew group uh, you know, invited her to teach the young Teochews. So that time was a uh, huh? Yeah, 20, 20 people. Yeah, so it was an awesome group. They are young Teochews, young adults. So we started with that and, and shortly after in May, uh, we were invited by uh, National Heritage Board to, in collaboration with Christopher, Mr. Christopher Tan, which is a renowned food writer, uh, yeah, and chef, he, uh, we did a Mother's Day special to teach how to make Peng Kui. So that was really awesome and we, we saw that many people were actually searching for their roots and we saw how we can actually inculcate family values and because this business actually, that time we were still home-based so I, we, we have not started a shop like now. Yeah, so it created a very good bonding time because I wasn't staying with mum. Mum is staying with my, uh, my siblings. Yeah, so we, we have our own house. So that sort of like, uh, I wouldn't say forced lah, huh? so that makes me go back and then you know, every weekend I will go back and make kue with her and then weekdays I'll still go back to my full-time job lah. Yeah, so, so with this, it has a very good bonding time. Yeah, so that is what we want to do lah. Yeah, impact that, that uh, to next generation. So mom always wants to teach you so. Like, she always said, I know, nobody wants to learn, nobody wants to eat kue. Yeah, but actually, uh, when we started the page, we, we saw many kue lovers, like many likes and many fans came and talked. So actually, I don't know that it's still what many people like to eat. Maybe not the super young, you know, the 90s or yeah, but that is where we are going to. Because our youngest fan is actually as young as four, four years old. So they will take videos of their, their kid eating peng kui. Yeah, so I'll show my mom and she'll be so happy. Uh, uh, <laughs> 他要有心血啦,有心血就可以学到 yeah. yeah, This is really quite tedious which we are doing that I mean, I see her waking up in the wee hours making kueh since young So that really impacted me And that is one of the reasons why uh, I want to continue this 
as a business and also for our social cause lah. From small, ah, from small, ah, this because I I grew up in a family, because there are my grandparents, my grandparents, my grandparents, and my grandparents. We have a lot of brothers and sisters. 然后每逢做节都有做鬼啊啊！呃，奶奶就做做了，就叫我们帮忙啊，在旁边看而已，只是帮忙剪叶子、盖而已。然后其他东西问他，他讲小孩子眼睛很亮，看人家大人怎样做，就学着来做，没有没有这些食谱的，没有分量的，就是阿嘎，就是大概大概这样的。那。Yeah. 就就从那时开始过后，哎呀，我看了，哇，这样多工，我也不想学。等到结婚后，我才结婚后面有家婆不会做，他就讲那个贵，他不会做什么。那我跟他讲，我来试试看。我从那时开始改，做了，他们每个都很喜欢吃，外面买的不吃，然后就没办法，就一直做了。每年过年过节就一直做了，要、yeah. 做到后来到最。呃，两千年过后，有很多朋友就认识的，就跟我订哦，就从那时没有上网的啦，这就过节他们就跟我打电话跟我订一些，嗯 ，That's way even before the Facebook 就开始啊，然后慢慢后来，二零一六才有才有面部嘛，才有 Facebook， 嗯，啊，那时才开始，啊，就是这样才那时候开始起来。Frankly, is I, I'm really uh, proud of my mom. She can really do everything. That's why on Facebook I actually hashtag her super mom. Uh, that's this post when I say Mother's Day, yeah, Happy Mother's Day. She can really do everything and uh, whatever I, I ask her, hey, Ma, can you do this? Do you know how to do that? She will somehow come up with a solution. Yeah, so she's very solution focused. Yeah, and uh, I, I really am very proud of that for about her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I want her to find, she doesn't find. Oh yeah, yeah. Initially, I had a hard time waking up. Every time, I tell him to do this job, you have to wake up early. Um, is the sky not clear? You have to wake up early. It's like three a.m. Sometimes it depends on the orders. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because we can always say we are busy. Uh, you you make time for friends, but not for family. So this really uh keep me bonded with my mom, and I'm truly thankful that I'm very happy that I actually started this uh Facebook social enterprise now as well. Yeah, and we can work with her every day, especially with COVID because we are different. We are not staying together, and uh, I still see her every day. Okay, we we started this as a, a social enterprise. Yeah, because basically uh, we saw the viability of the business after we conduct our workshops, which is our core business. Yeah, so we saw that the viability can support our social cause, which is to help um, uh, our target beneficiaries are mature female drug like drug offenders. Yeah, so uh, we have we we want to create a family like environment for this group of uh, beneficiaries, which we have two with us now. Our two staff are, uh, are from the turning point. So my business partner. Current business partner, Miss Talia Lee. She was the former uh, executive director of uh, the Turning Point. So she left her job. I left my job, right? So we quit and started this social enterprise together with Chef Mom's expertise. Uh, actually, in the thick of COVID, uh, you can say so. You can, but I think it's a blessing, not really so. Because basically, this period of time uh, gave us a lot of exposure. In February, when uh, you know, and, and we haven't even really started all our advertisement. Uh, CB Gang. Circuit Breaker came, so everything was locked down. Yeah, and uh, we we have to do everything online. Yeah, before that we still have like uh, customers coming by retail. Yeah, but really our core is in workshops. But COVID totally killed it. Yeah, but it brought a new lease of life. Actually, people got to know about us, our food, and most importantly our social cause. And 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 we can share the authenticity why we want to keep making grace like that because this is preserving heritage. 是是看他们的自己的。有新改没有新改而已啦，只能够拉他们来做工而已。然后过后的时间是他们自由的时间嘛，管不管不到的。嗯，这样要看他们的意志力了。Yeah, so we are very blessed because even though free time, right? Ah,、uh, we have one staff that comes back on Saturday. Right now, the scheme they don't need to come on Saturday. Yeah, but she still choose to come back, and ah,、uh, she could go and visit her other friends or former friends, but she didn't. 
so uh, we are very glad of that yeah she was fighting for us so she didn't want to give up and then I thought if she wants to give up she can give up for 3 hours here we can know she didn't go to any other place we can know she didn't go to any other place we can know she didn't go to any other place we can know she didn't go to any other place she didn't go to any other place and she still makes her way here so we are very touched and then we, we managed to create uh, what we wanted to do. Da, this is like a At work, we still have our extended family. So this is really a blessing uh, that we started this. Uh,很感激有这次的机会啦。就是我们一起做这个生意以来,啊,有这个机会一起做工,每天还看得到你。不然就是这两个月你就是自己一个人在家了,在家又在外国。就是希望你能够成功咯，不要被人家看扁而已。会啦，有最好的你叫我，那你会。因为有心学啊，嗯，再学啦，再学啦。哎呀，我想一下。You should be wondering by now, what is the difference, right, between uh Teochew's Diam Tho and Hokkien's Ang Ku Kui? Diam Tho and Ang Ku Kui actually are the same and the same. It's just a different language of the language. In the Chinese people, they like to use Tao to help. Because Tao has to be able to do it. In the past, we used to use Tao to eat Tao to eat Tao to eat Tao to eat Tao. This is the Wang Mu Niang Niang to eat Tao to eat. 就所以就延迟到现在都是用陶，然后那个菇是用那个福建人他们就喜欢用菇，菇也是代表长寿，但是在我们的潮州里面，菇的潮州音是菇了，是，水温水温啊，那时候难就不好听，就没有用，就是我们都是用陶陶形来代替，做那个柜。你不是讲有个潮州话？嗯，这、啊、潮州人是喜欢甜头甜尾，点头点尾，就是从头甜到尾。All right, now let us make some 啊，调酒点头粿。这个绿豆我们做甜头需要绿豆瓣，这个绿豆瓣是绿豆，他们打掉皮。来的结果，然后现在啊，然后现在我们要去蒸最少三个小时，它才会变，给它吸水吸了饱饱，它才会变蓬蓬，这样会会蒸了它才会松。嗯，啊，然后现在我们就把这个放进这个蒸布里面，拿拿去蒸最少半个小时。嗯，呀，啊，所以 now we put it down。现在我们就给它去蒸，过啊、呃，接下来我们是来做它的皮，干米粉、姜米粉，四四四十四十克而已。嗯，我们就加一百六十 ml 的冷水，给给它加进来了，大家搅均匀。然后人家是把红色的粉加进那个这这个粉里面，但是我是加在这个里面，它会比较均匀。我们不把它调调调均匀，加一点油进去，就跟它搅，大概一一啊半汤匙这样，然后跟它搅均匀，然后拿上来煮，煮它是。像糊一样，你要注注意，不要给它粘锅，要给它会均匀这样。番薯八十克，拿去蒸，蒸了去皮，去皮了我们就把它加进来，啊，用别的搅，它加八十克的八十 ml 的水，因为里面我们有有两百 ml 的水。So keep blending until it becomes a mushy paste. Give it a 
放进这个里面，跟跟这个的酱一起。嗯，然后现在我们就。加我们的油哈，用番薯八十 g， 我们的油就用八十 ml 的油，加一半进来先，然后跟它弄弄它均匀一点，然后现在就就把这个哈，转进来这个粉里面。这个粉是刚才我们。那个糯米粉加糖粉，为什么要加糖粉？嗯、因为我们的皮没有味道。等一下，它会把那个馅料的糖分全部吃光，变变成馅馅料不会不会甜。那、嗯、我说要加糖粉在那个粉啊,啊,啊，要加糖粉在这个粉里面，嗯、在那个皮里面。家里有 mixer 的时候，用 mixer 搅会比较均匀。Okay, so instead of using your hands, you can actually use the blender. Yeah, so that will evenly mix up everything. See, it's forming a dough already. So we make sure that uh, we have to we have to cook the dough. That's the next step. That's a very good tip, actually. This uh, luan ying jiang, ha, this. Uh, yeah. Ah, why do we have to talk about luan ying jiang? Can you tell us? Because luan ying jiang is for that the meat will be more Q, more luan. Yeah, Q tan. You know Q Q, right? We always have the meat must be Q. Yeah. So you you have to take an uncooked dough and put it in the boiling water. That's why we just heat up the water here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
称一一一个大概三十，三十一 gram， according to 我们的 recipe， 三十一克。嗯 ，OK， so you just portion into five， five times thirty one。So our mom is portioning. I'll just help her grow into a ball, a dough, like what we did for our dosa. Okay. So. Yeah, 变了。我们一粒豆沙，我们跟它，因为它的形状这样，我们就把它压长一压长一点包进来。嗯。We're using this ah pea shape mold. Yeah, because the Jiu Tian Tao is using this shape. But if you are Hokkien, you can use the same recipe and use your Ang Ku Kueh mold instead. Yeah, then you can keep it round and just press it down. So you can mold it like longish so that it fits the grain. We're the 这个下面的皮会要比较厚一点，上面包上去的会比较薄。然后就这这这这样这样压压它进去那个模型里面，压它的形状出来。So this is what we do at home, lah. Yeah, but now my skill also improved. We're using we're using to press it down, to press it down. To knock your kuih mou, ah, then you see it comes out nicely. Yeah, so ah, then, ah, ini, show you, show you, she always smile with her kuih only. Right. Ah, 这样我们就拿一片那个香蕉叶哦，嗯，剪它的形状出来，你就 according to your kuih mou, cut 一个桂出来来剪也是可以啦。啊，这样已经好了，我们就水滚了哈，一定要水滚才可以下去蒸。OK， 蒸多久啊？蒸五分钟。嗯，现在五分。五分五分钟过后，我们就打开给它透气。你看那个烟上来，啊、然后我们再盖回去，多五分钟就熟了。啊，就可以吃了。OK， so this is after the second half,、uh, five minutes, so total ten minutes, huh, to get your dam tao cooked. So very beautiful, right? So the last step, still one more last step. So many steps, right, to making kui. So you really should appreciate all our、uh, hawker aunties, our our kui makers, right? So last step is to glaze with uh cook oil, oh me, so the you, yeah, which one? Yeah, to so, because you, no, to so, inside there is a chemical composition in it, so we cook it, 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 cook So thank you very much. So I'm Kara, and this is Chef Mom. Thank you. 希望你们会喜欢啊，笑笑，叫他笑多一点 ，OK? All right. We hope that today's session has given you a little insight into Singapore's Kuei heritage. So thank you very much for being a part of today's program, that's specially presented by the National Museum of Singapore. If you enjoyed watching how the Tiam Tao Kuei was made, why not savor and make your own Kuei at home as well? We will be giving away forty goodie bags with a recipe sheet. One traditional kueh mo and five pieces of tiam to kueh. If you can correctly answer our quiz, you can scan the QR code or look out for the link to the quiz in the video description below. Do also follow us on our National Museum of Singapore Facebook page or on Instagram if you would like to be kept up to date with all of our upcoming programs. Thank you very much and see you again soon for our next program.